So what you'll see included in the Flowline Placid package is obviously the, the Placid arm here. And you can see these springs right here. It comes with two different types of springs. Uh, this one I have attached the blue spring uh, because of lighter loads and, and whatnot. You'll notice that the red spring is for heavier loads. And we'll go ahead and walk you through that as well, uh, showing you how to install the spring. And all right, you're also gonna have this comes with it along as well, which will keep the swaying of it from going back and forth. And of course, these two pieces right here, that will eventually go in here. And we'll show you how to do that here later. First things first, before installing the Flowline Placid Arm, is you're gonna wanna ahead and uh, release a little bit of tension. In order to do that, just go ahead and release that. And you're gonna go ahead and come over here and pull the string. And then you'll have this right here. All right, give yourself a lot to work with. When um, installing the Placid Arm, is this is the most important part, is untightening these knobs, okay? And we'll go ahead and untighten that. Let's get a full shot of this vest here. You can see how it's all lined up. Okay, the vest is over here. So now you can see this. We're gonna take this once we unscrew those knobs and you're gonna flip it, all right? Remember, that's very important. The knob is now not facing down anymore. It is facing upwards. And that is very important. So go ahead and take these little thumb screws and tighten those back up. See the other side right here. So there's a lot of tutorial videos out there that have mistakenly tell you to take this spring out. In fact, I was one of those guys that didn't create the tutorial, but I've made that mistake before. Uh, now knowing a couple little tips, we're gonna show you how to get to this and uh, screw it off properly. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and loosen this spring. Not the spring, but you can go ahead and just Leave that a little loose, all right? And then just tighten that there, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and unscrew that. And what we're gonna wanna do is there's a rope in there tied to a little bead, uh, which keeps this all together, sort of like an anchor. All right, so we'll keep that unscrewing and there you go. So the spring is still attached. You don't have to take the spring out and give yourself a little bit of carpal tunnel syndrome. Now inside this little tiny box, is the little string we were talking about, the little anchor. So what we're gonna wanna do is get this untied. We're gonna go ahead and speed up the camera here. So by now, once you untied everything, uh, the little knot, you should have these little holes here and it's pretty nice, I actually like it. It keeps it more secure that way and you just kinda just pull these out, all right? It's kinda like a nice little puzzle, nice little intermission to your work here. And there you go, and that's what we have. So you're gonna wanna ahead and pull this and set this to the side along with this, and look, your, your screws are still intact, you don't wanna lose those, and take this bead, put it in there so you make sure you don't lose it. What you'll notice is you get two compression fittings here, and those are gonna be placed in here. We're gonna show you how to strategically do that. First, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and remove uh, these uh, Allen bolts, okay? Start with these two. All right. After that, you're gonna to wanna to head and take that end of your rope, okay? We're gonna go ahead and take this compression piece and make sure it's facing downwards. You want it to be like a rainbow, okay? Go ahead and sink that rope right through there, all right? Now, we're gonna go ahead, take this rope and run it through here, okay? Take this compression fitting, put it right in there, now, we're gonna set this rope to the side, all right? There's no need to thread it again, and I know that that's been the confusion that we've been seeing on the internet, some of these tutorials. So you're gonna take that other compression fitting, all right? Again, set that rope to the side there. And we are gonna go ahead and just start lining this up. We're gonna get it pre, we're not gonna put these Allen bolts in all the way, okay? Because we still need to put it on the vest uh, pole up there, okay? So just a little bit, just to keep it from getting too crazy there. So now what we're gonna do, we are ready to attach this to our vest. And what we're gonna do is pull out that slack first, okay? Cause that is a lot of slack in there, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and take it, take some of this rope, some of the slack out. I'm gonna slide that right on top. We're gonna just go ahead and tighten that up now. Next, we wanna go ahead and install the safety band. This is gonna keep it from swaying back and forth and uh, cause you a lot of uh, savings of money from going to the hospital room from getting whacked in the head, all right? So go ahead and 
put this uh, exactly, there's a pulley on the other side that's identical to this. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this around. Go ahead, strap it in, and there you go. That'll keep the swing from going back and forth. All right, we're looking at the Flowline Placid Arm here from a different angle, and that rope we pulled through earlier. Now, what we're gonna do, it's gonna get a little more, I wouldn't say tedious, it's not that hard, but let's go ahead and take the end of our rope and we're gonna go ahead and stick it back through. I'm gonna get the camera to come up on top here. So now that we've got our end string piece pulled all the way through here, uh, don't get confused with this pulley right here. Even though that looks like a pulley, it is absolutely not. Here's an easy tip. Go underneath this, uh, the, the attachment that's actually holding onto the spring, go underneath this part. As you see another pulley down there, and that's exactly where that string needs to go. Okay, so there's two pieces. This almost looks like a pulley, but it is not. Underneath that is a smaller pulley, and that's absolutely where you wanna go over from this uh, rope underneath. From that point, you're gonna take this piece, and you're gonna go ahead and put it through the top over this pulley. So first things first, we take this little piece, all right? Stick the rope through there, very simple. It's kind of like we're reversing things here. I, I could tell you to go back in the video and do things backwards, but that's a little difficult. So we're gonna go ahead and take this end rope, put it back on that nice little spool that we have. Keeps it all secure. I would say pull this much, all right? Not too much. You don't wanna make it too much and then you lose some rope and all that stuff, okay? So go ahead and pull it through there. Let's find another hole we can go through. It's kind of like a leapfrog here. Just going in and out. Now that we've utilized all the holes, the best thing to do is just tie a couple knots. You don't have to know any scientific like sailor knots or anything, but just tie it tight enough. I mean, you can see how many holes it goes through and how secure it really is, but I just kind of tie knots just so that I can, you know, get rid of this slack. Now, just pull that right through, all right? We're gonna go ahead and attach back our spring, all right? Let me grab the right one here and just go ahead and tighten those up. And we are back together. Get set up here and attach a camera to this and show you how to do that. Like I said, one of the uh, best things you can do when you're utilizing this uh, mechanism is holding your place. It's sort of like a default spot. So just go ahead and push this down with two hands. It's a little easier that way. And then tighten this knob right here. That way you're always prepared uh, to clamp this onto a camera. We all know that cameras can get a little heavy, and especially when you're trying to clamp it in, get that thing set. Now, a lot of the times we have different arm lengths and whatnot, we're all built differently. And in order to you know, fix that or troubleshoot it with your shooting methods and whatnot, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to adjust this real quick. So we come down here with the uh, Placid Flow Line uh, arm here. Now remember, these screws, okay, right here, loosen up these bolts. And those are on the bottom here. We'll go ahead and get a better shot, as you can see. Now, I need to start working out, don't I? Okay, we'll go down here. Now, you'll see these Allen bolts under here, and these loosen up, obviously. This also slides back as you loosen it up. So if you need to adjust this to move back and forth, unloosen this and unloosen that. Then when you're ready to adjust it, which I'm kind of a got long arms, so I like to bring it at the end there. You don't want it too far because then the camera's too far, and of course you don't want it too far in as well because this rope right here will start tethering and start ripping in. You don't want that. So you want to keep it out as far as possible, but the Flowline Placid Arm kind of prevents that from happening as well as it gives you sort of a default advantage in bringing it further, and that's what it's all about. So we're going to go ahead and tighten this up. I'm happy with uh, this fit. All right, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to uh, put this vest on and, and get the flow line placid arm working. Right here is the uh, tension control for the spring. And of course the spring has two different types. There's the red and the blue. I chose the blue because blue is for lighter loads. Uh, it's, it's amazing that the red can actually hold as many pounds as it can. So that's, that's always a good thing. Right here, I'm gonna go ahead and tension, uh, tighten it up. And as you can see the flow line placid arm, you see as it's going down, as I loosen it, right here. So you can see that going down, but I want a little bit of a tighter fit. 
So I do have a heavier camera rig and we're gonna go ahead and put this on and then we'll adjust it with the camera to fine tune it. So now it's time to hook up our uh, Flowline Placid Arm to our camera. And like I said, this spring right here is very valuable in the sense that you can actually leave it in a default lock position. So like I said, use two hands, go ahead and tighten that up, all right? The worst thing you can do is hold this and try and hook it up to your camera at the same time. That causes a lot of stress and tension on your fingers and something you don't need. So we're gonna go ahead and set up our camera here. And if you don't have a handle, ProAim carries so many of these different types. So check out their page for these kind of handles and whatnot. So now we're ready to pick the camera up. Also, don't forget that when you're fine tuning the placid arm, that it's just not ready to go uh, as soon as you clamp it on. Now make the adjustments necessary with an Allen wrench and this will scoot back and forth according to your arm length and according to what's comfortable for you. Now, what we wanna do here is get this placid arm at a 90 degree angle. Right here, you see my camera it's sitting there? That is a perfect position to be in. That's where you wanna be, the ideal spot. Now, in order to do this, you can release the tension with the knob back here, backwards, okay? Creates less tension, obviously. You see that, uh, placid arm going down now. We want to create some more because I want this to be at a middle 90 degree position in order for it to operate and work. Now it's kind of hard for me to see at this angle, but that feels good. You can see that. It's not too far down. It's not too high. Look at that. Perfect default position to be at. Like I said, if I had my Allen wrench on me and an extra camera guy, I'd probably go ahead and loosen this up. But all you got to do is loosen these up. Make sure the vest is off when you do it and kind of find it and, and put yourself in a default position, what works for you and your rig. And remember, the more you change your rig, handlebars, all that stuff, it's going to change the configuration here. So remember a default position when you have your rig put together, that's the way to go. You know, when I worked on the set of a show called Kingdom, uh, they were freehanding it as well, but they didn't have this. And I can only imagine if they had one of these placid arms, how much smoother those shots would have been, but still giving enough dramatic jiggle, uh, but not to where you're like dealing with a lot of strobe effects and flashing background, it's just terrible. So there you go. The last thing you're gonna wanna do is attach the spring back on this side and uh, you should be good to go. And to be able to do that, you can just look back at the instructional video and play that as back, uh, back as well. Removing the spring is real easy. It all is accessed from back here. You can see that it's connected to the spring. So you're gonna go ahead and loosen this, all right? Keep loosening this all the way, all, all the way. Keep going, keep going. And you're gonna loosen this till it's so loose that it can barely even hang on, all right? So that's what we're doing right now. We'll go ahead and speed up the video. You can feel that it's getting loose right now. See that as you kind of go on. And you can also see the, uh, the mechanism go down as it uh, unloads as well. All right. All right, in order to loosen this too, you're gonna have to check out these little springs right here. You're gonna loosen those up and you're gonna continue to loosen that up as well. There we go. Should have this screwed out. So what you're gonna take on the other side are these bolts, all right? We wanna go ahead and loosen those up. All right, this will detach. The spring should just pop right out. That's it, now you can attach the other spring. We hope you found this instructional video helpful in many ways. Make sure you keep a lookout for the video of us actually utilizing this in production and on site. Thanks for tuning in, appreciate it. Make sure to hit that subscribe button.